this is Cassie, aka The Crafting Chef, bringing you a tutorial on behalf of Sub This and That. For today's tutorial, I'm working from our 2023 Hop Into Spring box. In today's tutorial, I'm going to sublimate this trash bag holder. This may be one of those items that you didn't know you needed until you got it. So quick story. Last weekend, I went to my daughter's dorm room and in her kitchen on one of the cabinet doors was a plastic bag filled with plastic bags. I mean, it was so filled that honestly, it was ridiculous. And that wasn't uncommon for me to see that. I grew up and my dad did the same thing. Um, but I have one of these in my home now and I absolutely love it, love it, love it. So. Although for the most part, I use reusable bags when I do my grocery shopping, the bags in my daughter's dorm room don't belong to her. They belong to her roommate, so my daughter didn't care, but I just wanted it to look nice. So I'm taking matters into my own hands. So I have their school logo, their students at Towson University, and we're going to sublimate this. So inside of here, I have a press pillow. If you can see, I have a press pillow and a piece of butcher paper on top. And I'm just going to slide it down some. And then I'm going to take my design. I'm actually going to trim it a little more. Because this is white on white. I want to make sure I'm getting the entire thing. All right, so you're gonna take this over to your heat press, which I've already done, and pre-press this for about five to 10 seconds, should be good. And then I'm gonna follow that up with my lint roller to remove any loose fibers. You wanna do this on all fabric sublimation items. Make sure there are no loose fibers on your products. And sorry guys, I'm gonna turn this slightly. I am using my smaller heat press, which is 15 by 15. And the design doesn't go all the way down to where the bag gathers, because of course you're gonna be pulling bags from out of here. So I am cool with where the design is. I'm gonna put a couple of pieces of tape on here And then I'm going to take this back over to my heat press and I'm going to press this at 385 degrees for 60 seconds. Let's go. So I just removed it from the heat press and um, I did the other side, so both sides are done. And I want to point out something. When I did the first side, I showed you all that I used this press pillow, which I believe is 6x12. This press pillow was fine to use, but I pressed this at two points because it's longer than 15 inches. My heat press is only 15 inches. So I had a little bit that was hanging off. Um, so I had to press it two times. What I failed to do the first time was move this press pillow. When I first put the press pillow in, I had it further up to, to the opening. And you can see how much of the design is still, um, still needed to be pressed. So what I failed to do was slide my press pillow down and because of that, there wasn't enough pressure over here. So the second time what I decided to do was use a larger press pillow. And I just shifted the entire press pillow on my heat press. So 
let's see what that looks like. There you have it. So if you have a smaller press pillow, you can still use this. Just be mindful to slide it down um, as you do the second half of your pressing. And if you have a larger press, you can just sit this right, sit this right on top like that, and then just slide this if you're working with a smaller heat press. So now the young ladies can hang this up and add all their bags. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.